of the West. Romans yeah. were actually the biggest ignorant people at that time. They couldn't yeah. even write their own names at that time. Yeah. Uh, and they were, you know, in witchcraft and burning <laughs> women and, oh my God, I, I, I am not... The dark ages of... No, no, the, the oh. dark ages started later than that. <laughs> dark ages were really <laughs> dark ages. <laughs> uh, so, so people were not going to, you know, there was no yeah. barrel narrative. Yeah. Uh, and even if there were, this was the superpower of the world at that time. Yeah. A lot of people wanted to be Shafi in England at that time. Yeah. Just like a lot of people wanted to be uh, Jabba ibn Hayyan in uh, Spain, in Spain, in, uh, yeah. in uh, France. Yeah. And Shafi was uh, dictating the actual construct of thought. And they were, they were, by the way, the biggest critiques of each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> one follower should have hated of Shafi, should have hated Hanif, but yeah. they didn't. Yeah. Yeah, that's you know the beauty. Saying? That's not the beauty. It was the way it's the hierarchy works. They were but, both representing the same node of the hierarchy. Yeah, but, so but still, you know... The, 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 um, and of course, the, their immediate followers did hate each other. They, yeah. You know, there were a lot of fights. Yeah. But, <laughs> but the general mass did not have a poor behavior yeah. when it comes down to both of them. Here, they, they were more tolerant. Yeah, but when Ashraf Ali Thami started to talk about the real thought leadership, the school of Bareilly had to go actually go blatantly against him. Yeah. Uh, so much so that, you know, there was a fatwa for uh, all the opponents to be kafir. Yeah. Yeah. Makes, yeah. yeah. Uh, but again, yeah. Uh, 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 but, but uh, let, let, let's, talk time, about, let's talk about the, the mullahs of, uh, of the time of Akbar. Uh, and then um, uh, Abu Jadid al Ifsani coming into the. That's the, the uh, exception. That's an outlier. Yeah, yeah. Were, the regular mullahs were all political. Yeah. Of, exactly. That was the reason why yeah, we yeah. are the way we are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mujadid al Ifsani was yes. an exception. Yeah. And that's why he became what he became. Because, see, now, there were a lot of Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khans at that time. At that time. Yeah. And this was the only guy who was like, you know what, I'm going to clean you guys up because uh, yeah. you guys have tampered with the core philosophy of religion. Yeah. It's not politics anymore. Okay. You guys are playing around with religion. And Mujid al Sani was a pretty old man at that time. Yeah. So he was he was not really angry at the way they were doing politics. Yeah. He was angry as soon as they started toying around with the the, the, the construct of religion. Theology yeah. basically. Yeah. And by so, the way, all mullahs were against Mujid al Sani. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 the normal mullahs, the, 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 the political mullahs. All at that time, yeah. All of them. All of them were like, what are you doing, man? Yeah. It's, he, 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 you're fighting against yeah. Zilei Lahi. Yeah. yeah, just like uh, the yeah. current day Yemen. Yeah. So, all Pakistan. All Pakistan. All Pakistan, yeah. yeah. So, the, the, the question stands. So why should we or shouldn't we hate no, we should, we should hate the Mulvi. Because he, he's not going to clean up his act. He presents the only real philosophy. And if he cannot climb the ladder from there, then we should hate him. It's not about uh, what is he doing. I don't I ever doubt the intent of the Mulvi. I think he's the only clean intent person in the world. However, what am I going to do with intent? If you cannot play the game with the <laughs> finest tools in the world, yeah. in the history of the planet till the day of eternity, uh, the Day of Judgment, you got the finest tools and you can't read in your, even your own book. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you can't reason yourself out of the bigger game, then I'm sorry, you, you know, you didn't really earn the right. So, so what, about, what about the preachers of, of the current times? Like, uh, we've got to start the uh, Numan Ali Khan um, and, and the whole lot uh, which is now preaching in, in uh, USA, UK. What, what about them? Because well, uh, they're, they're, they're in a difficult situation. They're in, in the area where uh, everybody uh, wants them to be apologetic and they by default are, 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 are apologizing for everything that's happening in, in the Muslim world. If any, anybody think, does uh, that. I think Numan Ali Khan and uh, Shabir Ali and uh, Bilal Phillips. Bilal Phillips, yeah. They are the prime example of how serotonin works. Hmm. They are the example. yeah makes they are sense the yeah. biggest indicator of how serotonin serotonin but, but, but see, we we need to understand this they live in a country they, there are two ways of doing that if you live in a country. Uh,